Hey guys, we came out here today. The water is super, super clear. We're gonna set back off of these fish and uh, cast at them. I'm also gonna show you exactly what a school fish looks like on live scope. Also what they look like on hummingbird side imaging. And here in a minute, we're gonna try to get a little bit of a underwater footage so you can see how they're acting around these uh, brush piles. Hope all that works out, but please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it, guys. We're getting ready to get in here and try to catch some of these fish for you. We're just out fun fishing. You can see fish right over in right here. That's all crappie laid down in there. But there's a big one. Right there's a ton of them piled up right where these two logs come together. You can see them right there and pick them out. We're gonna go on back. We're gonna go on back and look at this other one first. Uh, it was piled up the other day. This is a hummingbird. Uh, it's a Helix 9 and it is a Gen 3. The Gen 3 has the best side imaging hands down on the market. No, I'm not sponsored by them. It is the best by far. So let's go on back here and see if we can't uh, find some on this other one. There they are. That's what you're looking for right there, guys. That dude right there is loaded plum down. Uh, it's got some good big fish right there. Let's see. You can see the crappie inside there. I'm zoomed out, uh, I was at 50 foot off each side. That is exactly what that they look like down inside the brush pile. Them right there is probably uh, 11 to 12 inch fish and then a whole lot of smaller ones. We're getting ready to turn around, get on this and pull some out. And then we're gonna put this camera in the water and try to get some in the water footage with the live scope as well. I mean, that is nuts. Look at all them fish down in there. This, this is getting ready to be some fun. What we're doing right now, we're uh, coming up here with the trolling motor so we can see what depth they are. Right now, that school of fish, eight foot, all the way up to the top. Now that we figured out with the live scope what depth they're at, we can set back off of them, cast a bobber into them, and then be able to catch the fish. The water is so clear if you get up on them and try single pulling them right now. I've got five foot of visibility. If I get up there within 10 feet of them, them fish can see us or see the boat, see the shadow. They're gone, so we're gonna sit back off of them and catch some fish. Yeah, I'm under, thanks for telling me. That's a lot better fish. Take the little one. There you go. Not better fish. Not better fish. What is that, 11 inch? Pretty close to it. Yeah, 10 and a half, 11 inch. All right, guys, I'm gonna get in there and try to get you some underwater footage right now.
right here is what them schools gonna look like guys let me turn it just a little bit there you go that's what a huge school of crappie looks like on here and this is on a live scope there they are there's all in fish guys most of those that you're seeing right there are nine and ten inch fish and then you've got some that are better in there uh, let's see these are from four to eight foot deep nice little black fish I win the dink drive, guys. Now look at the size of that minnow and the size of that fish. Them dudes got Jack Russell syndrome if I ever seen it. There's a nice eating size fish. There we go. Better fish, better fish. Good eating fish. There we go, there we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Good old mess of them and make some money fighting. Heck yeah. They were short striking pretty bad. I went down through the menace mouth and came out its belly to get the hook a little bit further back to try to stop some of that. Oh. Get them fired up right there, Derek. No long arm needed, huh? He was just dragging it around. Big old fish. There you go. Hey, do it for me one time. Suey! Come on now. <laughs> I think you had that one board in it. I'm scared to get up in there if you want to get hung up. Mm. Fish. 
You reckon I can catch a fish on that? I'm getting ready to try. He ain't even got a tail. Oh, I about knocked him off. Everybody in there. Pow. And this guy's would be uh, the Derek Clinic. <laughs> <laughs> I can't st keep from getting hung up. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the show. And I still got it. Back over again. Tell how many fish can you that catch is one That is number five. That is number five. Show it close to the camera. Number five. Off of yeah. that. Yeah, off of that. Five fish, and that's a good fish. guys B and M their poles float. here on Rough River is a keeper fish right at nine inches nine and a half inches that's what I was showing you on the uh, graph well, uh, most of those fish that we were seeing were just regular keeper fish so if you're guiding or you're fishing for fun you definitely want to stop on them we uh, located them with the side scan we went up to the pile we decided how deep they were so we knew where to set our bobbers then we backed off of them and started pitching at them that's the best thing i can uh, tell you to do right now in super super clear water if you haven't already please subscribe and give us a thumbs up we appreciate it guys tune in next time for another great tip see you